You all didn't think I was ever coming back, did you? It's Molly with Design Loves Detail, and I'm so excited because we have a ton of good content coming for you, and the house is mostly done. I know, I never thought I'd say that after how long it's taken, but I was standing in this very spot just like, gosh, like almost three years ago, crying my face off because <laughs> we were gonna build our dream home, and we did it. It's taken a lot of our life and some gray hairs, but we're basically there. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how the house looks before we get any furniture in. Since we're back and I plan to be better than ever, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos so you don't miss any of the new reveals. We'll be releasing new spaces like every single week. So let's start here real quick in the entryway. Um, this plaster curved staircase was one of my favorite things. I actually drew this entry. Um, I sketched it out as one of the first things for this home. So it's a big moment and there's some really fun details that I love, especially that staircase, especially the stone wall and these built-in shelves that we're gonna look at too. So here's, here's the front doors. I did the arched metal in a custom color. Um, this is Sherwin-Williams Pave Stone. Love it. It's a gray, but it has just that little bit of green in it that I love because I pretty much always choose a gray with an undertone if I want a greenish or a bluish tone. So you'll know that if you check out my paint videos, it's pretty much always like just really subtle. I wanted to make a statement with these too, these beautiful sconces. And those are a good price. Like I was happy to find those because they look like they'd be crazy expensive, but they're somewhat reasonable, I think. So I'll link the stuff for you too, as we go through, you know how I do that for you. So you can shop at the bottom, right in description. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like on one because our house is kind of done, you guys, this is nuts. Um, trying to just soak it all in, but also like my brain's exploding at the same time. So sorry for all of the chaos. I'm gonna try to be calm as I tour you through. So I'm gonna put some benches in here. It's gonna be super cute. Stay tuned for that reveal. And then these like are so fun. I, I went and got these from like an old wood company because I wanted some reclaimed type of wood. And so these are a little bit darker stain. I wanted something with like some richness and definitely you've probably seen like um, a lot of the wood tones are moving more to medium and darker because we've seen light for so long. I still use a little bit of light, but I think blending wood tones is gives like a really rich look. So you'll notice that throughout the house. I think actually we should pop upstairs because um, the main areas uh, we'll kind of look at when we get to this level, but um, here we go. This is another like key moment in this house is this landing. I made it extra big because I have a huge piece of furniture that's going here because I always dreamed of having like a window bench day bed thing. Um, when I was a kid in my room <laughs> and somehow that was always like top tier for me, two things having two sets of stairs and um, a window, like a day bed. Those were like the most epic thing you could get. I think they had both of those in full house. Um, so I definitely thought they were living large. Anyway, bench is going here. It's huge and gorgeous. It's upholstered. Cannot wait for that. And you can take in the views. Check out this window. Our neighbors are building there. So now we <laughs> lost some view, but that's fine. That's what happens. Um, and then you still have a pretty good shot out this side because this is actually like a ravine down there. So nobody can really build, get my finger in there, down there. <laughs> um, anyways, and then you can see the curve like on this is pretty sweet. I'll have Ben show you like an angle down in there. Um, that is like a trough where I'm gonna plant some stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna plant some stuff there. Maybe I'll do fake plants because you know how it goes. But one funky thing about this house, you guys, is like I drew it and then I had it drafted and straight up it was, he just did it exactly how I drew the house. And so there were some funky angles in the ceiling. You can see all of it. I actually love how it turned out, but honestly, like it took some major like post work figuring out where the crap to put beams and stuff. <laughs> I actually really like it, but you can see it's quirky and it's a little bit asymmetrical. 
So obsessed with this mural. This is our kind of loft area that I wanted to make like a little reading corner for my kids. We'll put a cozy chair, maybe a bookshelf, but look how pretty this is. It's like what my dreams are made of. I love the hot air balloons with it. It's got that like whimsical, dreamy feel. And Wallism is where I got it. I have a coupon code for you guys too. They gave me an exclusive one. Um, it's DLD15 and you can get 15% off of this or any of their murals. And what's really cool is that they do them in both like the wallpaper format or uh, peel and stick if you want something more temporary. So they offer both of those. So anyways, pretty freaking awesome. Look how magical it is. And then I did this little play area for the kids. You can see up in there. There's a little window to see outside. You can see nature. There's often a lot of deer here. In fact, there was even a baby elk born right on the side of our property. How cool is that? The painters like gotta watch it the out the window. Yeah, it's so fun. Plants. I know we will have no plants, but we will have many deer. Um, so this is kind of fun. Just like wanted to take, this was kind of like unused attic space, but I wanted to make it into something really cool and creative. And it's one of my favorite places. So anyways, let's go in here. This is um, my youngest kid's room, our youngest kid's room. I always say my, but it's also, <laughs> I, you guys, I try to give you professional videos, but like, I'm not that professional and I say weird stuff a lot. So we're just gonna roll with it because I don't have time to edit out the weird things I say. Just so you know, going forward, it's a free for all. This is our youngest kid's room. He just turned six and he's the cutest and he wanted bunnies, you guys. He wanted bunnies because he loves bunnies. He always has loved bunnies. He has stuffed animal bunnies and he takes them everywhere he goes. So we are putting a little nature scene with bunnies. <laughs> it looks like it's for a nursery, but he picked it and I was like, cool, <laughs> we're doing it. Um, I also have something cool going in his closet. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's show them the doors then. I did kind of some cute doors. They got a little art detail. Kept it simple, but kind of classic. There's that. And then his view is insane. Like this is the smallest room, but the biggest, best view. Biggest windows. Pretty cool. All right. And then this one, we'll go in here. This is our daughter's room. I need to fix that. Chandelier is a little wonky, but um, I kept the ceiling height in here. Uh, just actually on the fly too, because they were gonna make it flat. And I was like, no, I want to see that. And then I added the beam. Just sometimes you go as it comes as you go. Um, one thing that's cool about her room is this closet. Come look in here. It's actually pretty big. Can you see? And then like there's little lights in here, adorable. And then um, I'm gonna put like mirrors. So there's like a tall mirror in here. And this bathroom is fun. Oh, another view. Um, had to, this is another space that like, originally the vanity was like here and I was like, that would be weird. So then I redid the whole bathroom like on the fly. <laughs> and then put the vanity here and it's pretty fun. It's like a, like it has this big bathtub. Look how cute this fluted detail is. Isn't that fun? I love it. And this faucet's pretty cool. I'm not gonna turn it on because I don't know how the plumbing situation is right now. Um, I need to find a really cool mirror for here, but I'm gonna, I have been trying some options and got cute hardware. It's kind of a funky bathroom. And I got a lot of these tiles, like in the shower, if you turn around, Ben. These are pretty fun. Um, they're like a terracotta tile. I got these, like, um, I drove to California and got them. And at like a closeout sale from Arto Brick, A-R-T-O. Uh, really fun, because there's a pattern on the floor. And anyway, so love those. And what else is cool in here? about it. It's just kind of nice because it's a big bathroom and it has the cool ceiling detail with the dormer windows. It's kind of funky. All right. Now we're going to go, let's peek over the edge because I want to show you how cool the view is. This is just like a little viewing area. My kids said they're going to have Nerf Wars across from here and the other. 
but you can see the kitchen. Um, we are still waiting on our island. It's getting custom made. It's made of precast and I designed it. So it's cool. Can't wait. Okay, going down. Let's go over here now. This is like, so just off the entry, this is like the half bath that guests will use and stuff. Um, again, still need a mirror in here, but I did a pretty um, fun setup. The floor is, um, again, the Ardo brick tile. I designed the vanity, got a cool stone sink. This tile is Riyadh. I love Riyadh tile. This is the um, two by eight. Um, cement tile in color putty. And then this funky light, I think I'm gonna lower it a little bit, like those top ones are kind of high up there, but isn't that fun? It's kind of organic. Okay, and this is the guest room right here. Um, I did a big closet in this because, just in case we need extra storage for the business and stuff like that, pretty good size in there. And then I'm gonna do a desk over on this side. We did the picture light. So I'll put like some art and then like a desk here. Um, I'll probably work in here sometimes, but this again has a really cool view and nice to have the guests just right off the entry because our parents are getting older. And so just being able to be on the main level is nice. This bathroom honestly might be my favorite bathroom. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Again, this is Riyadh tile. You guys, Riyadh tile's got the best stuff. This is the liege, the liege tile. And it is in color, um, crap, what's the name? Clay? I'll, I'll link it for you because I can't remember. But isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. This, another vanity I designed, but look at this giant, like, looks like it's a giant piece of stone. This is um, Taj Mahal port site. I was able to find remnant pieces on it, so the bathrooms I could do. And this is an integrated sink, really cool. Showers, super pretty, just modern, you know. This towel's cool, if Ben can get close up on it, it's um, textured, I'm sure it'll suck to clean, but it's worth it, but it's pretty. I no longer care what anyone thinks. <laughs> I did what I want in this house and I will regret some stuff, but also I don't care. <laughs> that was aggressive, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> um, let's pop over here. So around this corner, do, 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 do. and we'll go in the kitchen in a minute, but living room, fireplace, this is precast. I actually don't love the seams in it. I was like, why are there seams in it? But whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put a cool piece of antique furniture, just a little chest right here, I think, because this is kind of the alcove into our primary bedroom. Um, here it is, woo woo. It's pretty, huh? I like it. Um, this is this chandelier is huge and it's a really good deal. I'll link it because it was like 250 maybe, but it's so big. Like it's hard to find that big of a light. Um, I did the round bulbs to keep it more modern. And I love the um, ceiling detail, so fun. And we have this like private patio out here, which is gonna be so nice. I need to figure out what the heck to do with those, um, like stain the timbers or whatever. They're just a weird color. There's the fireplace. And then here's our bathroom. It has these double doors, it's so pretty. Feels like a big moment to enter out of those. Um, this I'm gonna put maybe, I was gonna put like a little desk type thing here, but I think I'm gonna maybe do just a huge mirror. Remains to be seen. I honestly haven't planned a lot of stuff. Cause in my brain, like I started to believe this house was never gonna be done. I'm not even kidding. Like the fact that it's done-ish is kind of weird and I'm not ready. So 27 months, you guys. That's like, I, I was gonna say I could have two babies in that time. Yeah, you could, right? I could have had two babies. Um, this house is really a lot of work, but let's come in the bathroom. Um, we're still waiting on the panels. These are cool cause they're just a fluted panel. This is the color. It's kind of that taupey. Um, yeah. um, so these will be like fluted panels, really modern and, and just sleek. This is um, La Vezzi Quartzite. Isn't it so pretty? Love that. Still need the mirrors. Get some cone pendants again. Over here, sorry, I'm a little all over the place. 
This is, needs glass, but this will be like our linen. Um, so pretty folded towels, kind of like a spa-like feel with that. Love that. And this tile is the one, this is actually super reasonably priced. Um, it's made to look like a bluestone, faux bluestone. And that's from Floor and Decor. I wish Floor and Decor would sponsor me. Can we get them? They don't, I don't think they write back, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I use their stuff all the time. Anyways, okay, um, this tub, it's got some stuff going on. It just had water in it. So hopefully that <laughs> will look better because um, I love this tub. I think that's just water that needs to soak in. But uh, yeah, it reminds me of the Pottery Barn one that's like $9,000. You know what I'm doing in this corner? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise, I do know. But I'm just realizing it'll be more fun as a surprise. Um, here's the shower. Look at how big this is. Look, this one's for Ben, the tall one. And I got a short one for me. Cause I like the water right on me. And he has his tall one. Everybody wins. And the handheld. And actually there's the one that goes in the ceiling. I'm waiting for that to show up cause they somehow canceled my order. So it's coming, but. Um, so there's so many shower heads in here. It's so great. I'm excited. What do you think about the stone wall in the bathroom? I like it. It's in the shower, yeah. So that's our bathroom. Oh, and I'll you put a little um, stool in like, and then like a makeup mirror in here. It'll be kind of like a um, get ready area. Uh, the closet, these are gonna have glass doors on them. So they'll be super pretty, like metal frame glass doors. So that's gonna be a fun detail to show up. This light I think is really cute. Ordered that on a whim. Honestly, I've kind of pieced this house together as I go. It had, it could have been planned better. I'll be, I'll be honest, but I like it. It's just organically emerging. Did the washer and dryer. We haven't had that ever in our closet, but I think that will be nice. Seems nice. What do you guys think? Do you have that? Do you, anybody have a washer dryer? Probably because it's kind of old news. Um, we never done it. I got a bunch of shoe shelves. This is like a giant dresser. Ben mostly has folded clothes, right, babe? So you can use this. Yeah. Back into the main living area. Um, this place is just really like open. All right, let's talk about these giant doors. Aren't these cool? Again, in that um, Sherwin Williams paved stone, I had to have these custom painted and made, but so worth it because they're like the moment. These are the doors that were inspired by the parent trap house on the vineyard. <sighs> so good. Not going outside in the snow, but we will give you an outdoor tour in the spring. Like I'm gonna do a full, how the outside looks and the yard and all that. So what I was gonna say over here is this area. Um, I liked the symmetry of these two shelves kind of mirroring each other. And I think I'm gonna put like a round, probably a round table in the middle. But I wanted, even though this house is very open, I wanted a little bit of separation um, for the dining room. So this little um, shelf gives us that divider and you can see the arch entry into here. And this will be our, where our long dining table is. And um, we've got the big chandelier and all that. Uh, really excited to get the furniture in and really, really excited for my island. Hopefully it'll be here soon. It's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. Um, Cause right now the kitchen looks kind of plain without the island, but I have some fun stuff planned to finish it. Uh, the prettiest Ilve range. Oh, this is the majestic. It's so pretty. I like how this one's like a little bit modern, but still a little French vibes. That Italian vibes, I mean. It still looks French, right? What's the difference between a French range and an Italian range? That's the money question. If you know the answer, write it in the comments. I don't know. They look the same to me. Okay. Um, Lavezzi quartzite again. That's what we got behind the range and on the countertops. And then I did a rift sawn. Is that what it's called? Oh no, it has a different name. Rough sawn. It's a rough sawn oak. Um, so there's like some texture in these cabinets, but they're kind of simple, minimal. And then this is waiting for the trash pull out. It's not like a weird just open one. It, it has a pullout that goes in there and it will match. The dishwashers are getting panels. It's a little bit unfinished. There's two, yeah. 
I'm a big believer in two dishwashers. They're one of the most affordable appliances. So if you have a bunch of kids like we do, two is good. Yeah, again, I use the same big oversized sconces. Love those so much. Um, those are like the ones I did by the front door. And then you'll see I did them over here too. Um, this goes into the butler's pantry. Some people call it a mess kitchen. Again, I don't fully know the difference. Um, but I love this brick floor. It's super durable. We had brick in our last um, mudroom and I loved it. We did have more black in the other, but this I think will hide dirt even better. It's basically the color of dirt. That's a good thing. Um, the fridges are actually so freaking cool. Look how pretty these are. Even the inside is just so nice. They're waiting for their panels too. So they will match this whole pantry space. Um, I'm a little thirsty. Uh, and these are waiting for doors. That's like where the appliance garage is, that sort of stuff. This color is a really good, <laughs> what's an appliance garage? Um, I think that's like what old people probably call it. <laughs> but this like has a little hydraulic door that pops up and you can have like your blender, your toaster, the appliances you use often. So this little door pops up and you can have your blender, your toaster, the things you use on a regular basis. Easily accessible, but easily hideable when you want. Okay. Um, so the pantry space, lots of drawers. I love drawers. Waiting for hardware, yeah. Yeah, none of the hardware's on yet. There will be hardware. This is one of my favorite colors. I've used it before. It is um, uh, Sherwin-Williams Morris Room Gray. And it's kind of like a, um, what are those? Mushroom, kind of a mushroom color. So that's cool. And then I did do like, I actually love having like open shelves. I know, cause this is very open. This, this will be a point of debate. I'm sure plenty of people will be like, why are you leaving all that open stuff when you're having it visible? Okay, because I like to not have to open doors to get it, that's why. And then over here, I actually made this kind of, this utility area, just kind of a hybrid space. So we did a washer and dryer. Um, this is just kind of have another easy access point um, for our kids to do laundry, because we have one in our closet. Um, and then this will be like storage for that. So it's kind of like all the utility stuff. It, they do that in Europe, you know, they kind of like put it all together. I just thought, yeah, let's do that. Let's um, kind of condense the utility area. Um, more storage and these, these will have really cool glass doors with the metal frame around. So this is gonna be really pretty in here. I've got a, a prep table that's gonna go in the middle. It's actually like an antique prep table. So bring in some warmth with the wood. And then we've got um, just a prep sink over here. This is missing a panel for some reason, but just kind of, um, just a really like functional space. And this is right off of our mudroom too. So I like having the washer and dryer right off the mudroom. Um, we'll pop over here. We still are waiting on lockers in this room. Um, the garage door is right there. I'm gonna put wallpaper on the ceiling here because I love wallpaper on the ceiling. And I did that in our last mudroom and it made me happy. So I'm doing that. It's gonna be installed soon, those are the rules. Um, this door goes out to like a little, it's kind of a courtyard area out there. I still don't know what a courtyard is, but now I just learned. <laughs> okay, well the lockers will go on that wall right there. There'll be three there, three here. And then of course you can either come in from the garage and go straight into the kitchen dining, or you can go into this utility type space over here. Um, so let's head up these stairs because this is the second staircase. Um, this is going to, well, a couple places. The homeschool loft for one. And there's my lights again. So that's the third place I use those. I like having an element like that. that you can kind of carry through the house. Um, oh, <laughs> Yeah, if you guys watch my live tour on Instagram, Ben and I have had some debate over that thing that's... Gonna be an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, I don't like the placement, but Ben really wanted that and so I gave him something. So if you, you can be on team Ben if you want, but we'll wait until it's done. I think it'll be nice, it's just a weird spot. And you can see the view from up here, but it kind of, kind of sucks down there. Yeah, it's just when you go lower, it's fine. 
Okay, so this is the homeschool room. Um, my kids will have their desks here. There'll be two here. Um, that little nook and then a desk here, one over by this window. And then this is a huge built-in on this wall that's still coming. So that will be awesome. And this is a cool detail. That is a fluted plaster. I love it. Just give, I know it gets funky because it has those lines, but in person it is the prettiest thing. So beautiful. Um, love that. Okay. And then over here we have um, basically workspace that we created and it's, uh, it functions, functions as a mother-in-law apartment. So like if we ever sell this house or something, it won't be super weird that we have a bunch of office space. Um, it actually is essentially just a mother-in-law apartment, but will work for what we need. So you come in here and it's super fun. There's this small kitchen, it's kind of tight, but it's kind of cute, right? Um, so this will be um, kind of essentially like an office kitchen. And then we'll have um, desk space off to this side. Um, normally I'd put like, yeah, some type of like seating and table. And then in here is like, um, a laundry, see how dark it is. Can you see me still? Yeah, okay. Um, this space is actually cool because we were able to add this on. We didn't know that there'd be this extra space here. This is just over the garage. Um, but it gave us like a spot for a, a utility room in here and a bunch of like even countertop and storage. Um, so we added this like after the fact, which was really cool. And then there's a little mini door um, for storage. Yeah, also added that. So lots of bonus space. There's a door here that goes some stairs down so you can like enter this from the garage. And then um, we'll come through here. So this bathroom is just kind of, will be the office bathroom. Still waiting on the drawers in there, but you get the gist. It's pretty. You could go look in there, Ben, in the shower. Yeah. I kept it super neutral, but okay. Um, and then this is like another office. This is Ben's office. He gets the front one because he likes this view the best. Um, we'll probably use this as like studio space too, like shoot some content and things. Has a little mini balcony, views of the city and a big, big closet in there for all of our stuff. So, kind of cool. And then all we have left really is the basement, right? All right, so heading downstairs, um, the plaster staircase kind of carries through and we have some fun stuff. The trough. I love the curved wall here. I don't know if you're catching that, Ben, but kind of a cool detail. All right, I turned the lights on because it's kind of dark down here. But this is the rec room. It's nice and big. I did. Uh, we did tell our ceilings down here, and I love it. Worth every penny. I don't actually know how many pennies it costs, but worth it. Nine foot ceilings in the basement. Um, so over here was kind of like our other house. I did a little dining alcove. I'm going to put a couple of tables in there and it'll be a cozy spot to hang out. Love those lights. And then we should just pop in here. This is the home gym. Isn't it cute? I have my ballet bar. I'm so excited about it. Ta -da! That's pretty amazing. The rest of it will be Ben's stuff, but I got a ballet bar and then this kitchen. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, design this island with the fluted, like oversized fluted detail and the oval. I love it. I love it so much. Um, this one's kind of like, it almost feels fancier than our upstairs kitchen. It's a little more blingy. Um, this whole wall with the Taj Mahal is gonna be so fun to style. It's so pretty as a backdrop. And then look at this range. Oh my gosh, Z-Line, so pretty. Um, really excited to get this all styled and 
done. This is a little bar area. We'll have some bar stools along here. Um, this is just a utility room. Uh, maybe I'll show you the laundry room down here. I did a full laundry room down here because that main level, we just kind of combined it in that utility space. Um, but this is like a more traditional full laundry. Um, again, really fun tile. And then um, the black. Um, this kind of mimics soapstone, but it's a granite. So happy about that. And then I need to still put a little sconce, a cute sconce up there. But um, kind of a nice size. Um, oh yeah, they have, um, those doors have actually some um, textured, what did I do? Um, grass cloth. I did grass cloth in those doors, so they're still getting made, but it's gonna be kind of a cute detail. And then we have to go over here because a couple fun things. The theater is over here. And also, look, look in here. It's a little, just a little under the stairs play nook. It's a little whimsical wallpaper. Goes back in there. With a bunny. Yep. Gotta love the bunny. Isn't the door cute too? I need to put some hardware so this will like hold. I'll probably put like a little mailbox, you know? The typical stuff. It's a little bit cliche, but I like it still. Um, and here's the theater. And I'm really excited. It's still like, we just do a, a little small cozy theater, but look how beautiful my plaster fluted wall is. Don't you love it? I did Urbane Bronze. I believe that's Sherwin-Williams. Um, so it's nice and rich and dark in here. We've got the cute um, sconces back there too. And then I'm gonna do, well, I should probably just let you be surprised. But I'm gonna do some really fun theater seating. So you don't wanna miss it. And I'm gonna get do the wallpaper on the ceiling. It's coming, um, getting installed soon. And then the only other thing that's really down here is our, we have two of our boys have rooms down here. I did two bathrooms. This one is the guest one. Um, the guest kind of powder bath still needs a little work there. <laughs> Missing a panel. Um, but really fun tile. So that one's gonna be nice. And then there's gonna be shelves on that left side where that kind of gap is, those will be shelves. And then the boys' bathroom is actually really cute, but I wanted theirs to be separate because obviously you don't want your guests having to use your teen and tween um, kids' bathroom. So um, maybe you should come in here and see the cute details. We'll shut this door. It's got a really cute floor. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Some raw, kind of raw materials. Okay. And then these are two bedrooms. This one still needs its mural. Has a little hole in the ceiling. I don't know why. Everything's gonna be fine in here. Um, Another kind of cool detail with the wood, I should, simple wood. Um, I like, I still like a barn door for the functionality of it because you can have it be flush instead of having a door swing and hit another door. Just, swinging doors kind of get tricky and this is nice to bring in like a wood element. And then this is um, one of the murals. This is one that um, my oldest son picked and it's pretty cool so yeah he does so now it's in his room pretty fun okay so that is the tour i think we covered everything but um again we'll start like getting these rooms done and so it'll be really fun to see more so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of the future videos anything else ben no every week in this place every week bye